Hey everybody, welcome back. We are Buddy Spirits and Cigars. And today we are doing the Basil Hayden Red Wine Cask finish. So, um, I haven't tried this yet, but from the way it sounds, uh, I'm kind of excited to try it. Um, they took their high rye mash bill and uh, they aged this in California red wine casks. So, um, pretty excited to try it. It's 80 proof. And uh, Basil Hayden did not uh, give a uh, website, or they didn't give a age statement, I'm sorry, on their website. So, not bad. Not a strong pop, but sure. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this one. Notoriously, I'm not the biggest uh, Basil Hayden fan, so pretty excited to try it, see what I think. Well, what enticed me was the high ride mash bill. Yeah that they went with on this. Um, it's obviously, it's a Jim Beam distilling product, being Basil Hayden 80 proof, so I'm not expecting it to be strong or anything. Get a lot of sweet on the nose. It's pretty aromatic as far as yeah. the nose goes. Hmm. A lot of fruit to yeah, me. Yeah, dried red fruit. Yeah, like grapes. <laughs> like wine. <Yeah. laughs> a little vanilla on the end there. Nice and sweet, Turk. Yeah, it's like it's you. got a nice color to it. It's kind of dark. It's like you. Right. It's got that red tint to it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. I mean, you can tell when you, you can tell it that got the red wine stuff going for it. For yeah. Sure. I see what the legs look like. It's not bad. The legs aren't bad at all. Mm -hmm. It's 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 pretty viscous. I'd like to know Wait, how long how long they finish it in these wine barrels just out of curiosity you know yeah it's the, and they actually do this in the california red wine okay and if anybody yeah, knows so drop it down in the comments because I'm, I'm pretty curious so yeah we got yeah, it i couldn't find it don't have a clue um and they don't give it on the bottle they don't give it on their website or anything so i mean we went to credible sources in that sense but yeah um, it's not saying anything about it and I've been seeing this everywhere, so I hope it's half as good as what everybody says. Yeah, about. I mean, it's it's pretty hopped up right now as far as something new on the market, something to... Right. Well, let's get into it. <sighs> Definitely get the, the red wine notes to that. Yeah, for sure. I think it's a nice, smooth, smooth drink. Well, it's Eddie Proof. I mean, you kind of expect that. Right. Eddie Proof, right. Without but, a doubt. I agree with you. But, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's an easy drinker to me. No, it's not my absolute favorite basil Hayden, but I think it's pretty good. I've got a lot of fruit for me, and I even get a little bit of rice spice there on the back at the end. For yeah, me. the back of the palate. You can yep. tell it's, it's a higher on that spill. Yep. Um, that's a that's a typical rye characteristic. Um, I mean, I'll just be honest. Out of their products, the uh, dark rye is better than this. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's cheaper. The dark rye is hard to beat. Dark rye really, hands down, beats this um, without a doubt. And it's it's a lot cheaper as well. Um, this is about 70 bucks, yeah. give or take. Um, for this bottle. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's it's just not there for me for 70 bucks. Yeah. Uh, it, it has like a, obviously it's red wine, so that's probably where I'm getting it, but like a dry finish for me, if that makes any sense. It just, yeah. I, like I said, I'm, I'm not really a Basil Hayden's fan. Granted, I haven't had some of the ones that you've had that you really like. Uh, I've only had two or three of their main line ones and I haven't really enjoyed it. And not to crap on it, but it, this kind of falls into the same category. It's just not a seventy dollar whiskey for me. Yeah, oh, I'm, I agree. It's definitely not a seventy dollar whiskey. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I maybe because they had the agent in California, and then it goes out to a distribution or something. I, I don't know. I don't know why it would be seventy bucks. I really don't. It's not there for me mm -mm. whatsoever. Mm -mm. I, I'm highly disappointed and paying that much money for one of those. It's okay. You get the fruit notes and vanilla and 
things like that. And it's high rye blows this away. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, dark rye blows this away. Oh, yeah. It really does. I, I Dude, think it's finished with port wine instead of California red wine. I, I think just about yes, it. So anything blows this away for me. I'm just, it's not there for me. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think? Start it off. I mean, it's got, you know, if you're a, a new bourbon drinker and you want to try something different, lower proof, that's not super crazy, and you're not really that worried about price point, maybe you can pick it up and you maybe you'll like it. It's just not for me. There's so many more bottles. I, I, I'm going to sound like Kevy here, but early times bottle and bond for $24 kicks this ass. You know, I mean, it's actually 16 around here. Well, for, for me, where I've seen it, it's, well, a, it's a little bit more. But I mean, like, let's let's kick it up a few notches. I mean, what about the uh, the store pick, the Woodford we done? Oh, with, with absolutely! Nathan. And you can buy damn near two of those. Uh, Leader, you know, uh, those yeah, are fifty-five dollars. I thought he said fifty. No, 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 was it fifty-five? And fifty-five. You can buy, you can 50 buy, to 55. but it's a liter. It's twice yeah. as much, basically. So yeah, it's just, you know, and it's a lot better, and you have some money left over. It's interesting. I'm glad I got to, to try it. Yep. It's interesting. <laughs> yep. I'm glad I got to try it. It's yeah. not something that if I see on the shelf, I'm going to flood towards and buy. Yeah. You know, uh, I saw one of these uh, last week. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't pick it up now. Um, so with that being said, I. A one. A one? A oh, one. Yeah. This is the worst one I've tried today. Well, well, considering it's the only one you've had today, I mean, you know, it makes sense, I guess. But, you know, for me, I'm going to give it a two. I think it's not quite middle of the road, something I would kind of go to and grab. Um, but if somebody had it and they were like, hey, let's have some of this, I'd drink it, you know? But it's not a, it's not a, it's just, it's just not there for me for the price point. 70 bucks is too much for this. Yeah. For no more than what it has to offer. So that's me. I went two and a quarter just because I'm a fan of Beast Laden and, you know, in general. Um, this one is not my favorite by any stretch. And, and I'm, I am disappointed in it as well. I was kind of hoping for better, but uh, it's still not horrible. Uh, so two and a quarter is the best I can do. Yeah, it's not horrible. But the flavor's not bad, but it, it, at the same time, it is a little thin. It's not horrible, you but know? I think they have a whole lot better products out there. Um, like I said, the dark eye just blows oh, this yeah. out of the water. And from Jim, Jim Beam Distillery, for me, that's like a anything I've ever had from them has never been disappointing. You know? For me personally, the things I've had. Until now. Until now. Yeah. And so that says a lot. Right. Well, you know, I mean, they're not gonna, let's, let's, let's be honest. I mean, they're not gonna make every everything they make, you're not gonna like. True. Every single thing. So. And people out there that are watching this may think we're crazy. They may absolutely love it. And that's the great thing about bourbon, yep. is it's, it's, it's subjective. You know, every person has their own opinion. And that's, that's awesome. Yeah, that's true. You know, it's, it's, it's not for, for me, or apparently not for us. Yeah. Uh, as a channel, um, I just think, man, they probably need to cut that price point in half. Yeah. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, it's only 80 proof, and uh, there's just not a lot. I mean, it's it's got some red wine notes and things like that, but it's just there's just not a lot there for 70 bucks. You really have to search for them. For me, you know, you just don't. It's not all that flavorful i have to like man what am i tasting now whether there's some of the other the bourbons i drink you know you're like oh that's you know that's dark fruit oh that's caramel that's oak you know you taste it you know I, after this i have to search for it almost a little yeah. bit yeah well man that's that's how we feel about basil hayden uh, red wine cask it, it's not worth the money in our opinion so um what are we smoking mercy well this was a gift from sammy at winston's Thank you, Sammy. This is a uh, Matt Booth product, Room 101. It's the Murder Hornet. Cool little, uh, you know, mm -hmm. guy on the, on the band here. That's awesome. This is a Honduran Puro. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that means all the tobaccos from Honduras. I looked it up and I tried to research it and I could not find anything other than Honduran Puro. 
Uh, I don't know if it's <laughs> That's all Criollo, <laughs> Corojo, Habano, yeah. Medio Tiempo. I don't know what kind of leaf it is. Uh, it's a medium. Uh, kind of get a little black tea, a little coffee off of it. Um, Just a vague hint of spice. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's definitely better than the whiskey. Without a doubt. And it, it does kind of overpower it because there's not much to there's not really much to overpower to be honest but yeah uh and, i mean shout out to those guys for giving us this and yeah. i just got to say if you, any of you guys haven't been to winston's chris took me for my first time what a couple weeks ago uh yeah three or four and, you know i'm not that i've been smoking cigars near as long as you guys have but i will say it's the best cigar shop as well as quality and options i've seen anywhere for me yeah um it we're was, talking. You, you're in the Tahlequah area, versus. Yeah. So I shop in Fort. I shop in uh, Fayetteville quite a bit, Joplin area, Tulsa, and Tahlequah. And I've been to almost every single cigar shop in those areas, and Winston blows them out of the water with their prices, selection. I mean, they have cigars. I didn't. I, I can't get in Oklahoma. You know. I mean, it was awesome to walk in there. That's probably why I spent five hundred bucks. <laughs> well, you know. That's, but that, that, um, that would do it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, awesome place. So if any of you guys haven't been in there, we highly recommend it. Yeah. Stop in and, and check them out. You know, whether they're great friends of ours or not, which they are, we, beyond that, I mean, from the business perspective, they have an amazing selection. Their walk-in humidor is, it's, it's crazy full of amazing cigars. Um, and they're super friendly, willing to help. Um, if you're from the beginning, Cigar smoker all the way to the advanced. Um, they're they're there to help, and, and they're um, I mean they've got it all basically. And cigars, cutters, ashtrays, um, you name it. You know even pipe players. stuff. If you're a pipe guy, they have a great Hidors, selection of pipes yeah. and pipe tobacco and all the gugos that go with it. Yeah, um, humidors as well. Uh, humidification for the humidors. I mean they've they've got it covered. They've even even fuel for your lighters and things like that, pop cleaners and tampers and things like that. So, you know, great guys, um, very knowledgeable and more than willing to help you out and take care of you. Um, let them know that we sent you guys in there. Um, go say hi to Sam, Sammy, and Andrew, and, and let them know we sent you in there and um, everything. But a great shop. Uh, you can buy your cigars, sit down and smoke it even. And, and enjoy the company of uh, well there's a good chance that one of the three of us or a couple of the three of us will be in there so yeah. you know um, and then if they're closed they close what 6 6 30 6 okay. and so you can go down to 906 on garrison and, and enjoy uh, and that's the place to be enjoy some spirits and stogies down there and you can go say hi to Bruce and uh, tell him tell Bruce you've seen us on the channel uh, he'll be glad to talk with you and say hey and catch up with you a little bit and uh, throw some cigar knowledge on you if you need some help or anything like that. So, or be a shit either way. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I mean, or make you think he knows what he's talking about either way, you know. Uh, I did stay at a motel six once. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, don't forget about our Patreon. We appreciate you guys for your support and your help with this. It, it's uh, pretty expensive to do all this stuff, and uh, we're trying to improve all the time. So uh, be sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, let us know what you think if you've tried this or if there's something you want us to try uh, for a future episode. Um, don't mind trying that at all. So that's all we have time for on this episode. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it, and we'll catch you on the next one.